Ah, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's late at night, which means I'm drinking a Red Bull, sugar-free, and I must be shooting a video. And this video, it's going to be this. I'm going to unbox the Cubicon style 3D printer. I'm hoping to unbox it and get a little first use in. We'll see what happens, because I don't know what's inside. This is exciting. Oh, right, let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Well, as I said before, it's late at night. It's, a, it's always late at night. I, I always seem to be filming late at night. Well, it's been a long day, and I can't think of a better way to cap off my night than to unbox another 3D printer. Like I said, this is the Cubicon style, and it was interesting the, the way that this came to me. My buddy Michael was at a 3D printing show in New York and he went up to the Cubicon booth and he, he mentioned my name and they knew about me and they've been wanting to send printers my way for me to look at. Thanks, Mike. You're rad. I'll see you at New York Maker Fair. So this showed up and I finally found some time late at night to take it out of the box. I've got my trusty uh, knife here. So let's, let's just get into it. Let's just... Let's get these straps off. They're so constricting. There we go. All right, I will pop the seal up top. And here's one. Here's two. Oh, so close. We're almost there. There. And inside we have... An instruction manual! Actually, this says quick start. This is the quick start guide. I'm going to do something that I usually never do before, and I'm going to look at the quick start guide before I take the rest of the stuff out of the box. Let's see. Oh, it tells me about the printer. Tells me about the print head. Tells me about the accessories I should find inside. Ah, here is how to take the printer out of this box. And it says to... Remove the styrofoam and to get a friend and have them help you move it out. Look, it's late and there is no way I'm going to wake up my wife to have her come out to the shop and help me take this out. So I'm going to risk everything and attempt printer removal by myself. This is styrofoam. This is not the printer. This is styrofoam and not the printer. Oh, but it's heavy. Oh, look, look, here are the accessories. Okay, first thing I notice is this box right here. And it's not really a box, it's like a makeup case or something. This is what my kids would keep their, their play makeups in. And inside we've got a card reader, a card, a brush with some bristles, this thing. What is this thing? Oh, it's a scrubber brusher thing. Oh, that's exciting. This is exciting. Uh, some Allen keys, tweezers. Uh, uh, I believe this is to clean your ears out. Ah! And a paint scraper, which seems to be common to include with 3D printers, obviously. And this one, yellow, yellow and black. That's a handy case it comes in, I must say. Cubicon, you've outdone yourself. This is labeled computer cable, and it sure does. It looks like a USB to USB-A. Yeah, USB 2.0, computer cable. Ooh, fancy packaging. This looks like it holds a spool of filament. And this is a U.S. power cord. Awesome. Ooh, and this is the power brick that the U.S. power cord plugs into. This is handy. It provides power to the 3D printer. And what else is in here? Oh, this is filament. Look at that. Ooh, it is vacuum sealed. It almost looks... Let's see, 1.75 millimeter ABS natural filament, and it's a, it's a kilogram, looks like. Wow, all right. Thank you, Cubicon. You've included some fantastic accessories, and I can't wait to 
risk everything and take this printer out of the box. Hmm. <laughs> this is cardboard. This is not the 3D printer. All right, I'm going to take this, put it on the floor, and then exhume the printer from the box and place it on the table. Wish me luck. I'm seeing success. Okay, this strap can go away, and this strap can go away, and look, we have a printer. It is encased in plastic, which is fine. Okay, this looks to be the back of the printer, so let me, let me face it towards the camera so that you can see. This top lifts up and allows me to take the plastic down. Ooh. This is a stylish machine right here. This is looking pretty cool. It's, it's encased, so I, I'm guessing ABS prints work well. Let's see, there's some stuff down inside. Let me, let me dig that out. According to the directions, I am a god among men because it didn't take me two people to get this out of the box. I don't know if I can accept that title. Uh, I can, I, I, you can still address me as Joel or 3D printing nerd, that's fine, or Mr. The Nerd, that would work too. Oh, I'm supposed to remove the tape now. Let's remove some tape. I see, I see some tape here that came off. Good, good. Oh, there's tape on the end here. Looks like there's tape on the inside. Okay. Oh, and look! This is, oh, okay. Um, okay, two example prints that are incredibly interesting and uh, for multiple reasons. Um, okay, the first is this spire and I'm hoping you're looking at a close-up view right now. This spire shows me that this printer can print exceptionally well in tall columns and two points. That's pretty cool. Okay, the, the other example print, which I'm hoping you're looking at a larger picture now, is of a woman's uh, bust. Look, Cubicon, way to go. It's, it's a good print, just like this, just like the spire. It's a great print, but so far, you are the first 3D printer that I've opened that has included a print of boobs with the printer. I've opened 15 printers. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a preliminary high five for having the guts to do that because that's fantastic. Art, baby, art. All right, this is a filter, and this is so that the ickiness that's inside this printer doesn't get out. Uh, it looks like it's activated uh, carbon, I guess, and some riblets of cotton of sorts. I will stick it in the, the holder for the filter. I, um, I guess if you print ABS 24 seven and you're worried about uh, the, the ABS prints uh, spitting carcinogens out into the air, then this is for you. Inside, some things are zip tied and I gotta clip those with my clipper clips. All right. I have freed the X and Y axes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see, I've inserted, let's see, remove the bottom package, lift the heated bed up and remove the bottom foam. All right, let's lift the heated bed up. The heated bed is up, the foam is out. We are close, we are close. Ooh, it's time to mount the spool holder. Let's. Get that into place. Uh, 
Did I do that right? It looks like you put it in and you turn it. You turn it clockwise. I can do that. Now I need to mount the filament spool on the holder and stick the filament into the printer itself. Awesome. For this, I will turn the printer around so that you can see all of the gritty details. So here I am using the quick start guide and I'm about to mount this filament roll and the quick start guide shows me how to put the filament in. Should be easy. Looks like it goes in right there. And then I can put that there. Look at that. I'm loading filament. Okay, the filament is now loaded. Ooh, the next step, turn on printer. This is where it gets kind of exciting. Okay, I'm gonna find some power and I'm gonna plug this printer in and we're gonna see what happens. So this is the unboxing. We've now unboxed the printer and we're about to get into first usage. Uh, at this moment, if you need a break, please uh, hit pause and, and go potty. Maybe grab yourself a, a Red Bull or a cup of tea um, and some ribs, maybe a side of bacon. I don't know what you have around you. And then come on back when you're ready. Ah, oh, welcome back. I hope you found some bacon and some Red Bull and I hope you're ready to keep going. So at this point, according to the quick start guide right here, I'm supposed to turn on the printer. I see a light. I hear a fan. Oh, and I see stuff on the display. This is exciting. Okay, now it's time for me to load the filament. Hi, woo, okay, let's, uh, let, let's load the filament. Okay, it says I need to press here, right there. Prepare and load. Okay, uh, nothing's happening. Uh, according to the book, the temperature should be going up. Uh, I'm gonna poke buttons, see what happens. Uh, no. Ooh, that changed. Aha, look at that. Go baby, go. So the quick start guide did not have this step in it. That's interesting. Okay, do I hit? No, it's heating up. Okay, we'll let it heat up. All right, I'm presented with a button that says load start. Right, okay, hit that. Ooh, it's doing something. Touch OK button to load stop. Okay, I don't want to load stop, so um, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it keep going. Hey, now it comes filament. Look at it go. Go, baby, go. And now I see the white filament. So the the stuff that was in there was red, now it's white, now I can hit OK, and that's it. Okay, look at that. Whee. The filament is loaded. Next step is to print something from the SD card. Now that filament is loaded, it's time for us to put the SD card into the printer. And the SD card is in this handy dandy case that I showed you earlier. Thank you, case. The SD card is right here. And take it out of its packaging. It is a micro SD card within a, an SD card uh, holder um, and is a four gigabyte SanDisk card. Excellent. Let's put it in. Goes in on the side right here. Goes in. Uh, okay. Does it go? Maybe it goes upside down. Uh, you can do it, come on. Hey, hey. 
Okay, now we need to select the file. From the SD card, I'm gonna hit OK to go to the menu. SD card. Um, this is the style, uh, it's ABS, 210. Okay. Here we go. Looks like it's heating the bed. I'm going to close the door while it's heating the bed. All right, at this point, it looks like the Cubicon is still heating up. It went through a process that the LCD said was called verification, and I couldn't see inside very well, but I believe that was some sort of bed calibration. I did notice that this lid likes to lift up because of the filament feed tube, and if you're supposed to keep a consistent temperature within this printer itself, then this lifting up because of the filament feed tube would well, that wouldn't help you at all. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I will have to look into that. Okay, this is, this is kind of cool. So uh, the printer's printing right now. Here, I'll even. Yeah, that's my microphone held up to the printer. It's quiet. It's, it's quiet enough to where I was standing by the camera and I was waiting for the printer to print so I could hit the record button. And then I noticed some movement and it had been printing for a little bit. Uh, this printer is extremely quiet, and that, uh, that's a check in the plus category. All right, I'm gonna let it print, and um, then when this print is done, we'll, we'll close out this unboxing and first use. Woo! Hey, look at that. It looks like the print is done. Let's open the door. Oh, look at that. It's, uh, it's clips. It's clips. All right. Uh, let me, I'm going to scoot the printer just a little bit. And then I'm going to use some of the tools given to me in this case to get it off. Here is the scraper of truth. All right. That's the ABS printed well, extremely well. Uh, print itself with a little brim. Uh, these are these are little clips. Little clips. Okay. Uh, it's got a it's got a brim on them, so I'd have to take those off. But as far as ABS prints go, uh, it's just an example print. But everything looks like it should. I will put them up here so you can see them. Maybe. There we go. Aren't they pretty? Look at those clips with real clipping action. Ha, it's funny. All right, I guess that's really it. Let's call this unboxing and first use done. We did everything we needed to do. We took the printer out of the box. We explored the contents. We used the quick start guide in order to get the printer going. The quick start guide was missing a few steps, but we were able to figure it out. Filament was loaded. Uh, a test print was printed from the SD card. Uh, we removed it. I showed it to you. Uh, epic. That was great. Uh, all right, let's just call it good. We'll call it good right there. I'm looking forward to using this machine and putting it through its paces. Well, that's it for now. Obviously, if you have any questions at all about this machine or things that you want me to address in the review, please put it down in the comments. Give this a big thumbs up. If you like bacon, you can financially support the channel by giving me a dollar or more at Patreon, but I'm never going to require that. All I really need from you is to subscribe to my channel and offer me an occasional high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, high five. Uh, here we go. He's 
Joel Telly and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly, cause he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor, then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombot, Lulzbot, G Max XT, then a break for Red Bull and Logos Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope for a sticker instead. There's a nerd vlogs on boxings and cues and things, and he'll open your mail every single Friday. And of course, you can't forget that pancake bot and filaments on the keys and Joel's a little sign. And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio like Lando Calrissian, who's tried Han Solo. So show your support on Patreon or subscribe, and as always, High five. Here's what? Um, running out of stock. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, like, if we're on a long tour and you're really not keeping an inventory, and, you know, like, you just, you, I mean, you're just, you're just, really? exactly, and, 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 and you're just throwing them away, you know, because you can't keep your socks.